Hey everyone, welcome back to another good tutorial. In this video, we will be seeing how to create collectible items with animation. And we will also be looking at a specific animation where the coin fly toward the counter. And as always, you will find the entire project in my GitHub repository, link will be in the description. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. First of all, I have set up a basic scene with a player with some basic movement abilities. Then I have also added one HUD scene which contain a sprite to display this icon and one label node to display the count. And at last, I have also added some word elements like this floor and background. Now, each collectible item is going to be in a separate scene. So for that, create a new scene with a node2d as a root node. Then I will add one animatable sprite2d. Then I will also add one area2d node followed by a collision shape. Click on the animatable sprite2d. In the animation, create a new sprite frame. Now click on to open it. Then here you will find this mesh icon. Click on it. Now you will find the images in the images folder and click on the coin image and open it. Now here you want to set the horizontal to 9 and vertical to 1. Now click on select all and add 9 frames. Here you have each coin image as an individual frame. Now you also want to turn on autoplay. Now in the inspector, set the speed scale to 2. Now come to the transform and I will also scale it to 2. Alright, so now click on this collision shape and here create a new rectangle shape. Then I will grab this handle, press alt in my keyboard and drag it to expand it in both sides and expand it to cover the entire sprite. Alright, so let's just save this scene as coin. And now what we need to do is add a little script to our coin. Then go into the area to the node and in the node add one body injured signal. Now inside the body injured function, we will first make sure that it is the player that we are colliding with. After that, we want to update the coin value by 1. Now the coin is not just limited to a single scene, that's why we need to make it global. So for that, we will create a new script. I will name it global. And inside it, all we need to do is create a variable called coins and assign it the initial value to 0. So save it. Now to make this script global, go to the projects, then project settings. Then in the auto load tab, click on this icon. Then select your global script here. Click on open and give it a name. I will also use global and click on add. Now this name is what we are going to use to access this script. So close it. Now come back to our coin script. And here, instead of writing coins, we need to write global.coins. Now, after updating the coins, all we need to do is remove the coins from the game using cube free. Now, come to the main scene. And here, we can just start adding our coins in the game. I usually create a new node which contains all my coins. So, I will just add the coin scenes and place it in the game. You can just hit Ctrl D and duplicate it a couple of times. Alright, now just play the game. And you'll see our coins are rotating perfectly and as soon as we touch it, it disappears. Alright, looking so far so good. Now all we want to do is create an animation so that the coins go at this corner. And we also want to update this label with some bounce animation. Alright, so in order to move our coins to the label, we need to first get its coordinate. So here, I will first create two variables, target position and label load. Then after that, in the ready function, we will first get the current scene using get tree dot current scene. Then we will go and grab this sprite 2D node, which is this node. Then we will grab its global position and store it in the target position. Similarly, we will get the current scene and get our coins count, that is our label node. 
and store it in the label. Now inside the body intent function, instead of directly calling the queue free, we first have to animate it using twin node. So first of all, create a new twin node using get tree dot create twin. Then we are going to use this twin property method to move it. So this function takes four arguments. First one is the object reference whose property are you going to change. In this case, it will be self because it is attached to the coin itself. Then the name of the property you're going to change. The third one is the final value of the property. In this case, it will going to be our target position. And lastly, it will take a decimal value for duration, which are in the seconds. So I will write 0.5 here. Then we will also apply easing of ease in for slow start of the coin. Once this animation is done, which means our coin will reach the image. Then we will change its visibility to false using the same format that we have used earlier. Now the only difference here is I am calling this chain function after twin. This will ensure that it will only run after the previous twin has been completed. Alright, so our coin has reached the end and now it is invisible. So now we want the label to bounce a bit and update its value. So for that, we will again use the twin property, this time for the label node, to change its scale property to 1.1 in the both x and y in 0.5 seconds. In parallel to that, we will also change the label value to updated coin number. And once this animation are finished, we will again shrink the label back to normal. And don't forget to use chain here. Then at last, we will use the twin callback method with the chain to call the cube feed function. And that's it. You can just now run the game. And as soon as we hit the coin, they start flying toward the label. And the label is also updated. Hey guys, hope you found this video helpful. If you have any doubt or suggestion, leave them in the comment section below. Also, like and share this video with your friend and subscribe to this channel for more good-related content. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.